Isotope RX, a new frontier in audio repair. Wait, it actually says that? What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm your host Weaver Beats, and today I'll be doing an overview and first look at Isotope RX-7. So first things first, um, I will not be using the VST version of this software because um, the standalone version has much more to offer. And uh, if we're gonna show off the new features and whatnot, we might wanna do the standalone version. Now that, the, um, now that our VAW is all set up, let's take a look at it. So here we have Isotope RX-7. You can uh, drag and drop a file in here, and uh, let's look at all our options here. As you can see, there's a few new things from last time. There was not a breath control, there was not music rebalance, and um, with a few other options we did not have before. We didn't have this variable pitch or variable time editor. And uh, yeah, looks like there's a lot of new things we can do with this. One of the other newest things you might see here is uh, there's a repair assistant, which is really good because um, if you don't know what you're doing, just click that button there and then um, it'll come up with uh, three different repair options for you. It takes a little bit of time for it to load, but really good stuff. They did not have this in the old versions of RX. So let's uh, test it out on a few things. I got it. I'm gonna pull up a acapella of me rapping. So just a demo recording acapella. So we're gonna see if we can make it sound better. The song is called Garden. Um, if it's out at some point after I put out this video, I'm gonna link it in the description. Box bust through it immensely. Ten speed. Drag it in here. Let's see how it sounds. We're gonna delete the beginning of the uh, audio. Then I'm gonna select all, and I'm gonna run the repair system again. See what we can do. Okay. Go okay, listen to our options now. A, B, and C. Of course, if you mouse over it, it shows you what it did. So this one just did declip. This one did declip, decrackle. This one did declip, decrackle. Put me in a box, bust through it. Put me in a box, bust through it immensely. Put me in a box, bust through it immensely. Put me in a box. I don't know. I like C the most. I'm gonna do C. Let's see, um, I hear like a, a hum, like a like AC or something. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find the AC hum. All right, cool. We got rid of some of the hum there. Got a lot on my mind. Got a lot to do. Just wanna make them hits, G. Hit. Let's see if we can do some voicey noise. Definitely cuts out a little bit of noise. Let's try to turn up the settings. If you try to stick me up. Wow, that makes a big difference. So before, I used to get down, slang in the pot. Now I just make. Then after. Work rapping a lot. Can 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 I dig it? course my G let's go and get it so I definitely did something uh I did some good stuff for a uh, acapella let's see what we can do now um, to get an acapella because uh, from what I heard this software can uh, generate acapellas so let's see if we can generate some acapellas let's do I ain't got time all right let's see what it sounds like normally great sounds like a song all right now first thing we're gonna do is I take the music rebalance we're gonna double. Well, we're just gonna click on that. You don't gotta double click on that here. There's no double clicking in this program. And um, first thing you want to do is you want to go to isolate voice aggressive. Click that preset, and it should do what we are looking for. Tell me not. That's as good as Phonic Mind. It's it gets even better too once we try it on more songs. It's like something that I did an okay job on. There, I tried it on a bunch of songs last night and. I got some pretty clean acapellas. I was kind of surprised. So um, we're gonna render this. It's gonna take a couple minutes. So uh, we'll be right back. I ain't got time for these algorithms. Okay, let's listen to how this acapella sounds. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it's freaking incredible. It's like, I would say it's like 80 to 90% there, which is all you need for an acapella. We can also try to fix it some more. Let's see what the repair assistant says. When I did this last night, it crashed. So, um, let's pray. All right, now that we've done our prayers, let's um, hit the repair assistant and see if this works okay. All right, let's listen to the differences. So this first one did a uh, mouth de-click, second one did de-click, this one did de-click and de-crackle. So the, the, 
It's unanimous. There's a click problem. I mean, I can't really tell the difference. It's only showing right me the now. beginning of it. Um, I'm just gonna pick the first one and render it. And I hope it doesn't crash. Okay, we've rendered it. Now let's listen to it. Man, I can upload this on YouTube and get famous. Maybe I should do that. Cross your T's and scratch your eyes. Out. All right, let's try another song. We're gonna try one from a different artist because it's gonna be mixed differently and therefore the algorithm will work on it differently. Let's try a Post Malone song. A preset set already. Let's try the preview. I'd say it's legit. Like the only thing that's still there kind of is the drums, which is fine because if you're doing a remix, that should get covered up. Just the drums. Um, I have a Discord. Join my Discord if you want to engage in meaningful conversation, mostly with me, but some other people too sometimes. Um, it's kind of a weird cult-like experience. You should come join us. Dude, the algorithm for uh, creating acapellas with this uh, software is insane. It's literally insane. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, who's this? Phonic Mind? Yeah, you're canceled. Get back. Man, I'd save myself like five bucks already though, this is dope. Another thing that uh, this version seems to be missing out on is um, there is no D Russell plugin, which is basically for lab mics, those mics that you have over here when you're filming a video. When they rub up against the shirt, it makes a rustling noise, it sounds like this. You can use it to get rid of that. We don't have that, so that's kind of a bummer. But this is still really good software. Okay, so uh, here here are the comparisons. RX Elements is only one hundred dollars, but it only comes with four things. Then uh, RX Standard, the version I'm using right now, is three hundred bucks, and it comes with about half of well, a little more than half. It comes with about a little more than half of the features. And the RX Advanced is eight hundred dollars, and it comes with some extra things, including Dialog Contour, Dialog D Reverb, D Russell. Dialog, Isolate, Ambience Match, Center ex Extract, Dewin, Deconstruct. So yeah, we're missing out a little bit here, but um, if I can get my hands on that, I'll try to do another video on those extra features. So let's see, um, what is my initial impression with this? This is extremely worth the money. Like, I am I was kind of blown away. What really what really caught my attention with RX-7 is this, uh, this feature you can use to isolate acapellas. Like, that's... This is a, uh, man, this is like the algorithm I've been trying to get my hands on for a while. And I finally got my hands on it and it was uh, 300 bucks. Not too bad. I'd rather pay 300 bucks up front for a uh, RX-7 than, uh, you know, shelling out $2 like every single day to Phonic Mind just to get a, a different acapella so I could try to make a song with it. So um, yeah, it's extremely worth it. Um, RX-7 Advanced though, I don't know if I would say that's worth the money, but it does look like it has a lot of extra dope features. So like I would say it looks worth it to pirate it, but I don't know if it looks worth it to buy that one because it's extra 500 bucks for uh, these uh, seven things here. They are, let's, granted they are seven very advanced things though. Like I'm sure this di dialogue isolate is great and this D Russell thing is probably really good for vloggers and this dialogue contour thing has to be really good for changing vocal takes. Like say someone doesn't sound confident in their vocal performance or in their speaking voice, you can use this to adjust certain areas and you can make them sound confident. So this is some serious next level shit. Looks like there's a few other uh, things you get with RX-7 Advance too. Azimuth, EQ Match, Leveler, and Loudness. And I feel, I kind of feel like this uh, Azimuth plugin should kind of be like something that comes with it. Because like all it does is control the left and right. Oh, it does have adaptive matching though, that's pretty nice. So if so, if your left and right channels are imbalanced in something and you want to fix it. So uh, you can use this to, to balance that sort of thing. If you're actually going to spend your money on this, I definitely recommend going for the RX standard version. It seems to be the best deal overall. 
But if you really have the dough to shell out, then uh, go for the advanced version. All right, guys, so I think that's it for this video. This has been an overview and first look at Isotope RX-7, standard version. Showing you guys what it can do, what I think about it, um, what are the good features, and if I think it's worth the money. So far, this has been a yes. A link to try out Isotope RX-7 is in the description. Um, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you, uh, if you guys use Isotope RX-7 or any of the RX family, and uh, does it help you much? I have one more announcement too. Um, I actually want to start a little contest today. So um, the prize is this. It's um, it's a it's a Logitech gaming keyboard. Um, it lights up. It has a bunch of lights on it. It changes color constantly. It's pretty dope. I have one uh, myself. I have an extra one, and um, I'll show what it looks like up here while I'm talking. Contest is uh, just a comment on this video. All, all I want is um, just leave a funny comment. The funniest comment deemed by me will be the winner and um, I will send this to you. Okay, so uh, just leave your funny comment in the, in the comments and um, whatever funny comment I pick, I will announce sometime in the next uh, couple weeks and then um, yeah, I will send this out to you. So I'll announce it in the video and um, get in contact with me through uh, Twitter DMs or something, or uh, Discord DMs. Yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this keyboard and this video. Hope you guys enjoy Arc 7. Have a nice day.